Alright, so welcome back, second and third grade. So we're going to be moving on to the texture portion of our dragon drawing. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a shape for our dragon scales. And the whole idea after that is we're going to repeat them in this space going down. So we're first going to create really big fat scales for the belly like it's got belly armor and then after that we're going to do scales that go around its neck you can even add some that throughout the parts of the face here the top of the head things like that and so what what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a picture right over here that's what i'm going to work from as an example and then uh you decide how your uh, scales are going to be shaped and how the pattern is going to repeat. You're going to notice with mine, mine are almost shaped as if they are looking like they're super pointy at the end. So just know that uh, that's how the picture I'm working from. You don't have to make yours like that. You can make yours rounded, whatever you desire. All right, so first thing I'm going to start with is the big, really big ones on his belly and I'm going to leave them as big points like so. So everyone after this, and I'm only gonna get two or three in here, is going to look similar in some way. So it's gonna come back up and connect here and then that's it. I only get a couple. Alright, just like so. So there's the big scales, and now we're going to move into the smaller ones. And they're just going to look essentially like big, or I should say small, sharp, pointy, repeating patterns. Now, here's the deal. I've got to get this to repeat, and so I'm started right up against the neck here, and that's okay. So I'm going to just turn my page. Like so and I'm going to make mine finish out to be somewhat diamond shaped like that at the start okay and so they're gonna start right there and we're gonna bring them all the way down and so now what I want to do is I don't want the same follow the same exact pattern right under each other and so I'm gonna start this row right here like this so it's gonna turn out kind of a diamond shaped pattern when it all set it's all said and done okay and you're going around a curve here so don't be afraid that if it gets a little weird that you can always fix it a little bit by adding another shape and yet again this is going to create that textured look of a dragon that has armor all over its body. All right, I'm just going to finish this out and then we'll talk about the, the face last. finished up and yet again you get the idea and you can add any on the ends that you might need to for example I think I need one right here just to add some detail here like so okay and so that's the idea now you've created this armor pattern that immediately makes it look like the dragon is got this this armored scales all over it and it looks really cool now the face you have a choice you can do it a little bit differently you can for example instead of doing armored scales you can do more like what a crocodile or an alligator has and have individual little segments 
in between some of the spaces. And these are random, random shapes, random sizes. And so that's the that's what makes it really easy to add these types of almost scales. Okay? And you can do it like that and fill the face in like that. Uh, you can also add some more of these. For example, if you want the effect that part of this is armored, we'll go ahead, add some of these kind of diamond plated scales. And then you can continue and mix and match the two together. And it's totally fine. It'll look great. For example, I can bring this right up against it. And it'll look great. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out yet again. Um, so I'll stop talking and speed up the video. So now that you're done with the pattern, uh, you know, it might be all over the place and filling all the space. So you want to define some of the areas of your drawing to make them stand out better. There are a few things you can do. You can add shading by making areas lighter and darker in value. Okay, so for example, underneath the lip, I can come in here and just shade this in, make it slightly darker. And that shows the idea that there's a little bit of shadow under there. And so that's a good strategy. And like I said, you can just use a pencil. Don't press very hard. Just add a little bit at a time in areas where you know there's going to be more shadow. For example, underneath the big plates like this, you can shade those as well. Okay, even in here. And if you really, really, really want to go for it, you can actually shade the inside of each one of your scales. And so it looks like they're going back into the dark space. And it'll only be the top here, and then you'll leave the bottom lighter. But that'll give another kind of visual trick that you can do you can also come in and you can color in between some of your scales if you want and make them slightly darker as this is the as these are the scales that are popping up and off of the dragon so that's another strategy so you can employ a whole bunch of these different strategies in order to finish up your drawing. So I'm just going to employ a few of them. I'm going to finish up my drawing and then I'll have some pictures to post for you on the lesson. All right, students, I'm going to end it there. Hope you have a really fun time with this drawing and we will talk to you next time.